What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the Spawner GUI mod, and what this mod does is it allows you to change what mob spawns from a mob spawner. So let me go ahead and open up my Minecraft here. Hop in my world, and I'll show you how to use this mod. I am flying right now, apologize for that. So if I go ahead and set down my mob spawner, you'll see it has pigs in it right now, but if I go ahead and right click on it, it will pull up a mob spawner um, list and it has all of the mobs right now and you can see it does have pigs selected. You can change it to mushroom cow, um, ocelot, uh, pretty much every single um, mob that is in, within Minecraft, even an ender dragon. But you do have to have the mob spawning in its natural habitat. So you would not be able to spawn an ender dragon up here. Um, and you wouldn't be able to spawn a ghast up here or anything like that. So let's go ahead and just spawn a wolf. And then go ahead and hit escape. And it'll start spawning wolves. At least it should spawn wolves here. I may not be in the correct habitat for it. Because we are in a hilly type of area. It's taking a, quite a long to do so. So I'm not sure it's going to spawn a wolf. Oh, there we go. There are two wolves. So there, it's actually three. Wow. So it's spawning wolves now. And like I said, you can change it to pretty much anything you want. It just has to correspond to that mob's habitat. So that is the spawner GUI mod. Very simple mod, yet very useful if you're trying to do like some sort of mob killing machine or you just want a lot of one sort of mob. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. And the only things you're going to need to download is Mod Loader and the Spawner GUI mod itself. So to get Mod Loader and the Spawner GUI mod, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description. Both downloads will be on this page. It is Resigami's mods. So if we go ahead and scroll down until we see Mod Loader 1.3.1, you can either download from AdFly or direct. Keep in mind, downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So after you download Mod Loader, go ahead and scroll down and a little bit more until you see spawners UI and here's a little uh, screenshot of it and again you can either download from AdFly or direct keeping in mind that downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator so that is how to download both files that you're going to need to install this mod so when ready to install it go ahead and come over to start then type in percent app app data percent just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner then go ahead and open up your roaming Open your .minecraft, open your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archive program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you're not going to need your bin open anymore, so you go ahead and just close that. So once you have your minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up mod loader, highlight all of these class files, and drag them into your minecraft jar, and hit OK. Go ahead and close mod loader. Now open up the spawner GUI mod, and you want to highlight these five files and drag them into your Minecraft jar as well. And hit OK. And go ahead and close the spawner GUI. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step, but if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes, and that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you're always deleting metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So this is a very, very simple installation for this mod. I hope this video helped you guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys.